Welcome to Haptic Platform Demo. Today we would talk about Chat Analytics tool. I can boost IVA conversations success with this analytics tool. The real-time user messages and conversations with historical data can help me answer the toughest questions about my users and improve my IVA's smartness. This is the place where I get to learn more about my customer, about my team, and understand all interactions I'm having with my customer. The chat analytics tool empowers me to get a comprehensive overview of how the IVAs are performing, get in-depth analysis into how users are interacting with my IVAs, identify problem areas that can be improved, and also collect first-hand user feedback about my IVA experience in real time. Starting with the first section, overview. This shows the performance metrics of an IVA in its entirety. A complete overview of the bot's performance and also the key metrics that one will be concerned about. Number of conversations held by the uh, IVA on, with the users, number of unique users, number of messages sent between users and IVA. Though automation and accuracy are definitely important, the primary goal of an IVA is the end-to-end -end query resolution and task completion shows how many users out of every 100 were able to resolve the query end-to-end. -end. Bot automation shows me the percentage of the conversations that were understood by the IVA and did not have an escalation to an agent. User rating shows the average rating received by the IVA on a scale of 1 to 5. And all of these metrics are shown in the time range of the duration I have selected. It is also comparing it with the previous time duration and showing an upward or downward trend for each of these metrics. Coming next to the story analysis. This helps me analyze an IVA's intelligence for each use case. Stories are basically subcomponents within the IVA. I can analyze the IVA's performance on a sub-story level using story analysis. I can track metrics such as the quality and quantity of conversations, automation, users, and message analysis under each of these subcomponents. As you can see, complaint flow being one of those sub-stories, I can see how many conversations, what is the automation percentage, and what are the number of users for that sub-story. Coming next is the message analysis. This helps me analyze my IVA's intelligence for each message. All messages sent by the user can be searched here. I can see how many customers are searching for help from the IVA's knowledge base and what are those major intents coming from. I can see what the bot said, the user said, the live agent said separately and together. Sensitive information here would be masked. If I search for a keyword called as account, I would be getting all those search results having account as a keyword in the message. As you can see, this section helps me get a granular view of the conversations that users have with the IVA and the messages that were exchanged. I can individually select messages to understand user patterns, common queries, frequent roadblocks, opportunities for improvement, and so on. I can also access data that helps identify at which point did the conversation flow stop and the various reasons behind broken messages such as missing intent, missing entities, the casual response sent, low user intent, etc. This message analysis section can be used to figure out the conversations where the IVA did not work and how I could optimize my IVA further. I can use a series of filters for the same. The broken messages filter will show me those messages where the bot could not understand the message. I can also download the report and run deeper analytics on those reports. I can play around with the confidence score to change the threshold and find out false positives. This would give guide me towards what other intent should my IVA handle. All the other metrics and filters are used to help me search conversations based on my required requirements. Coming next is the word analysis. It is important to understand what the IVA is not understanding. Word analysis helps me break it down not just into messages, but also words on which the IVA is breaking and not able to comprehend. Bot break topics is an interesting clustering model to identify and club user messages into different clusters or brackets. It categorizes break topics 
to identify similar words or sentences which are causing that so that it can be worked upon and IVA's intelligence can be increased. That's why we say we power AI with AI. While analyzing, you can check these clusters and build those intents back in the IVA using the Bot Builder tool to make it better equipped to handle these new intents. User utterances are also readily available that you would require for training the IVA. Coming next is the node traffic. This section helps me visualize how users funnel through different sections in the chat flow. It helps me understand how users move in the chat flow. Just like Google Analytics shows the funnel performance of a website, similarly, the node traffic shows funnel performance analysis of IVA conversations. I can dig into insights into their user journeys. I can literally slice and dice my customer data however I want to. This will show incoming outgoing traffic details of users, which will help make the user journey better. It shows the funnel as incoming traffic volume, drop off, board breaks, outgoing traffic volume. On the screen, as you can see, complaint direct request being one of those intents is coming from start onboarding and hello nodes going ahead to housing loan start and start onboarding. Out of 26.3K users, 21.4K are dropping off, 4.9K are having bot breaks, and 14 are going ahead in the flow. This gives me a good overview of how the users are traversing across my bot. Coming, across, coming next are the user ratings and user reviews. Ratings given by the user are showcased in a numerical and graphical format. Comments given by the users on the IVA are given under user reviews. This is to keep a check on how users are evaluating my IVA's performance. The user ratings page of the analytics tool facilitates information about ratings and reviews given by users based on their experience with the IVA. The feedback that the IVA captures involves a star rating out of five and free form for users to share a text review or leave a comment. I can also get granular data by clicking on each individual star rating to understand the user's rationale behind leaving their review. This feature is especially powerful to identify IVA roadblocks and challenges and identify optimization opportunities based on first-hand customer feedback. I can here change the drop down to two and check those messages to see what really happened to the chat transcript and why the IVA was given a bad rating. It gives me more power to visualize what are the problems faced on the IVA and how to fix those issues. With visibility of all important metrics here, I can constantly optimize and improve the experience for my customers. Through the analytics, I can be more proactive than reactive for providing a great experience to my customers. It will help me make better business decisions, drive changes in the entire organization, and of course, the customer experience. Thank you for joining.